Oh my gosh, you guys, it is so freaking hot outside. It's not even funny. I just walked Kobe for two minutes just for him to use the bathroom. And it feels like 500 degrees out, but it's actually 96 degrees. It's so hot, stay indoors. But anyway, um, you guys know that we have been in the new apartment for about, what, like three weeks now? Two weeks now? Crazy. Um, and we have like a really cool outdoor balcony area. Well, not, I mean, it is an outdoor balcony. And I want to do something with it. Like, I want to decorate it so nicely so that we can still kind of enjoy it. And I bought a ton of stuff this past weekend to decorate the balcony with. We got some outdoor rugs, lanterns, and I'm gonna decorate it with all of you today. And I'll, I'll be sure to link everything in the description box below, so definitely check there. Without further ado, let's go in the balcony. I'll show you guys the before, we'll do an after. I'm very excited, let's do this in this heat. Wow. I'm here and I've got the rug. I found this in Target yesterday and I was like, this is so cute. And it's such a neutral, like, outdoor type rug because the pattern is really simple, but like still really cute. So I felt like I could do kind of like any sort of decor with this. Hopefully it fits, we'll see. Okay, I can already tell you that I love the rug. It doesn't fully cover everything and I might want to like, maybe down the road get like floor tiles from Ikea, I saw those everywhere. Um, and kind of add that and then put the rug on top but for now I'm okay with this it covers like majority of the balcony and then of course on the sides where it doesn't I'm gonna put like plants and other things anyway this cart I'm obsessed with because it has wheels it rolls so that if we wanted to like bring it downstairs to barbecue and everything with we could just put everything in here and just roll it downstairs and I think it like fits kind of perfectly in this little nook here um, just for us to store things and you can also like, put the wheels on stop so that it doesn't kind of like roll on. Love this card. I've already used it once. I made some changes, move the faux plant in this corner because I felt like that triangle definitely needed a plant. I'm gonna go to Home Depot and see if I can get a real plant in like a big pot. But anyway, I told you guys this card I'm obsessed with because when we barbecue and stuff, I just wanna be able to like put everything on here and then just roll it down because we do like to take like a lot of small things. Okay, we've got the furniture finally and this auto packaging, how horrible is this? Like, you have to literally cut it open, which sucks if you want to return it. Um, but we just, like, went for it. Ooh, the color looks so nice, though. Okay, I'm excited, and that's the cushion. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you can have this. You guys stay there, though. All right, here it is, the actual material. Ooh, I love it. It's, like, a grayish. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's got, like, gray tones. Boom. Oh my god, is that a stain? No, that's just like a little something, something. Oh, well, we can cut that. We'll cut the tag. It's huge. All right, we gotta cut these. So here is a view of the balcony. Of course, we have all these bags and stuff that are not gonna be here soon. All right, guys, so here is the update. So we're gonna kind of keep it like this because the problem is the door because once you open it let me actually show you so we can't really put the you know the chairs right in the middle and i like having this open area right here you know what i mean because we are going to be also getting a little table i don't want anything too big can you guys believe i still don't have a table yet we need to go do that tomorrow um, but we are going to be putting a little table here that little bar cart is gonna go over there and then I am gonna start to now put the plant somewhere but all right table update oh my gosh I cannot believe how hard it is to find a good outdoor table at this time of the year it's crazy but I found this one in home goods as you guys can see from the price tag and I really like it but I don't think I like it enough to keep it outdoors I've had this now um, out here for like a day and a half and I'm just like, you know what? I'm not really feeling it. It doesn't go with the rest of the decor at all. Okay, so here's table number two. And this was one of those like impulse purchases. Even as I was like checking out and paying for it, I was like, okay, this is definitely not gonna work. 
and it definitely doesn't work in this room again i think the concept is really cool and the table itself is gorgeous just not for this room not not room but you know what i mean just not for the balcony my mom is out there planting we bought so many plants yesterday i'll show you guys when we finish <gasps> oh i didn't see you there just kidding guys, welcome to the balcony. As you can see, it is all dyed and I have to tell you, it has quickly become my favorite place in the apartment. Maybe because this is the only place that's done, but we genuinely do spend so much time here. Whether it's the morning, I always come out of here first thing in the morning, actually read my book. By the way, I'm reading Grit right now such a great book um but yeah we really do spend a lot of time here and i'm so happy that we almost made it into like a little mini living room area and of course i'm gonna break it down for you give you a proper tour you guys already saw like the before you saw the process all right so let's start in this little area right here so the first focus piece are these outdoor chairs outdoor couches i don't even really know what they are but what I know is that these are hella comfortable. They're gorgeous. You honestly don't even need like a outdoor pillow because the stuffing back here is more than enough, this cushion here. And I just love how they look. Also, I just wanna say this was really easy to assemble. It took a total of maybe 10 minutes per chair. It was really quick, really simple. And I love, love, love these. These are from Wayfair, highly recommend them. I'm gonna link them below as well as all the other items that I can find in the description box, so definitely check there. Um, right on top of these chairs, I do have these gorgeous outdoor pillows that I love. Yes, these can definitely get wet because they are outdoor, although if it rains, if it snows, I do plan on bringing this in with me along with a lot of the other pieces that you see out here. If it rains slightly, these should be totally fine. These are from Target, definitely recommend them. Funny story, I only found one and then I was like so upset because I really wanted a matching one. And the sales associate was amazing. She was like, hey, go, go check in the back. Maybe there's something there. And then I ended up finding a matching one of these. So love this, I'll link these below. So one of the most exciting things for me, and this is like adulting for sure, because this is something I would never get excited about when I was younger, but now I'm like living for it, are plants. And I do have a little herb garden that my mom helped me plant so beautifully um, so we do have basil this gorgeous planter is from Ikea they have some good stuff there guys for outdoor plants and outdoor furniture definitely check Ikea got that there and I cannot tell you how many times we have already cooked with this basil and it just keeps growing and growing got the basil I think from Whole Foods and I'm just so happy to have like fresh basil whenever I need it so cool I know this is like so weird and you guys are probably like Ashia why are you getting excited about this but I'm so happy to have like a little tiny mini herb garden. Okay, so this little nook also I just absolutely love. There is like a triangle shape that I hope the camera is picking up. That's just like the shape of the balcony with our unit here. But I thought it was so cool to put a big plant. And this one is actually not real. If you follow me on Instagram or if you watch my old apartment video, you saw that this is a fake plant that I got years ago from... Home Goods or Marshalls or TJ Maxx, one of those three stores, and I absolutely love it because it looks very real. I also really like, like the planter for it, the marble planter. It's just gorgeous and it fits perfectly in that little space back there. Um, with that, I also do have the mint plant. Again, the planter there is from Ikea. I think it's so stunning and just like fits perfectly with the full plant I love it okay I just quickly turn on this little lantern right here which is so gorgeous and I love it especially at night I'll show you guys it is so pretty and adds like a sparkle of light but it's not too much because we really actually can't have too much lighting here other than this lantern so in the daytime we like to keep it off and then at night when we eat out here which we do eat out here a lot we will turn this on and there's also like a lighting in the balcony as well back there we do have the little like watering thing for your plants pick that up from ikea and i actually find myself using this all the time now because i have so many plants we also have a lot of new plants inside the apartment which you will see a full apartment tour actually it's probably going to be broken like room by room in the next few months now let's quickly talk about this area right here starting off with the floor outdoor rug again this was a target find i saw it i was like this is gorgeous i love how neutral it is but it's still like i don't know it still like adds a lot of character to like a very simple balcony 
So pick that up and it has rained here. This has gotten wet. It has not been ruined whatsoever. And the other day, Vishal, he spilled a smoothie right on the actual outdoor carpet and nothing happened. It was totally fine. So definitely, definitely recommend this, especially for a small area like this. I think it's so pretty and actually makes the space look so cozy and big. One of the things that I think I struggle with the most with this balcony was finding a good outdoor table. Although it doesn't match like the arms of the chairs, it doesn't even bother me because it kind of just works with the whole vibe of the balcony and I love the size of it. I love that it's like short and you can like easily place things to eat down there. Okay, last thing in the balcony and again, one of my favorite, favorite things in here is this little bar cart slash rolling cart slash an all-around amazing cart again from Amazon. Amazon has some cool things and did you guys know they have this new feature where you can actually place certain items in your apartment or your house to see how it looks it's so weird but it's cool at the same time and i actually did that out here and i was like blown away at how amazing this looked but anyway this is such a cool card because you can actually roll it completely but you can also use this as like a bar card inside your home it's just awesome very durable beautiful and definitely recommend it i will link it below all right guys that's it for our balcony tour i hope that you enjoyed it like i mentioned i will be linking everything that i can find in the description box below some items might not be exactly the same and if they're not i'm gonna make a note of it so you guys know but i will do my best to link all of the items that i have here in the description box below if you are interested and as you guys already saw, I inserted a lot of close-ups of everything and like just us enjoying the space so much. Honestly, this transformation I was not expecting to fall in love with as much as I did, but I'm so happy that this was like the first room that we finished. I love it. Do you love it, Michelle? I do. I love it. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, especially if you want to see more home decor videos. And if you have any ideas of what you want to see on my channel, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!